91 on a Nighthawk. It's got 34,000 miles on it. There's one on the scratches. That wasn't from uh, laying it down. That was when I bought the bike. I guess never got any touch-up paint for it. That dent, that's from, that's from laying it down. You know. But, um... From the accident, that's where the, um, one of the dents on the exhaust. And then on the back, the Vance and Hines got a little scratched up, you know. And, um, some scratches on an engine cover. Some right there. But, you know, the bike's over 20 years old, so right now, um, the seals on, um, the carburetors are not going back. It's bad. It's just, you know, it's just old. It's kind of leaking a little bit. It's starting to varnish. There's some more right there. But I mean, it just, it's not a bad running bike. And another thing I, I kind of was a little disappointed with with the exhaust, it sounds mean as hell, but right around here, the tubes, when they get, you know, they got hot and they started to discolor a little bit, you know, it's just stainless steel. But um, it's got the Vance and Hines 4 in the 1. And um, after the accident, all the bulbs were replaced. This is a Yamaha um, Sport. They call it some kind of Yamaha Sport handlebar. You know, it was the closest thing to the Nighthawk bar that I could find. But in my opinion, it's a lot better, um, a lot better ride because uh, you're more, you're not really so much leaning. You know, you weren't leaning before. You know, it's not like a ZX, you know, ZX6 or anything. But um, it's a comfortable ride. But yeah, it, it's got the choke there. Give it a little choke. Give it a little more. It's not near as cold nature as it was with um, the stock needles in it. stand was down <laughs> but um no other than that it, it it runs and everything everything's fine on it but no it's been a great been a great first bike you know I really really enjoyed my time with it and um I started using chain whack chain wax that that oil would just get all over the fucking rim you know and um i took it to the car wash and i tried power water it was just it was just a pain every time you um lubricate the chain it would just it gets all over the place you may as well pour the bucket of oil on it you know but uh, using a chain wax i mean it's just it's a night and day difference by you know how how um the mess you know there's there's virtually none but Yep, just, um, that's the profile. Been a super nice bike. I, um, 
I really enjoyed my time with it, but this is my new baby. It's a 2011 Yamaha Star Striker. It's been a little bit getting used to a V-Twin, um, it's not smooth, like with the Nighthawk, doing um, U-turns was fine, but with this one, it rakes so far out, you can do them, but you really gotta like, kind of pace yourself. It's got the pearl coat to it. Liquid cooled. There's the radiator. Fuel injection. What I like best about it, it's got the um, 210 tire in the back. Just a real nice bike, clear, clear LEDs, you know, for your brake lights and This is just it's a nice bike, like the wide fender. Steel. So alright, just wanted to make a video showing my um, my bikes, hoping to get rid of the the Nighthawk, you know, but this really really happy with this this um, strike or just one thing, the seat on it's absolutely horrible. It looks real supportive. When you look at it from the side, you think it's got lumbar support there. And it does to a point, but I mean, it acts like it's filled. It's like, after a while, it's like sitting on a cinder block. I really, one, two things I want to get is, um, well, new exhaust. The exhaust is fine. Like, the exhaust is fine, but I just wish it was a little louder. But um, I'm deaf. The next thing I'm going to get for it is I got to get a new either a Mustang seat or one of the um, Yamaha Comfort Cruise seats, you know. But, um, nope, that's, um, that's it. It's my new bike, new toy. Um, thanks for watching.